Hey YouTube, it's Amanda. Um, I have a lot to say and I wanted to try to make this video quick so that it's not longer than 10 minutes. But uh, this is my week 13 pregnancy vlog. Um, I guess I'd first like to say that I hope all of you guys had a great Christmas and New Year's is this weekend. So wow, I can't believe it's already going to be 2011. Anyway, um, we had a great Christmas. We went to California and we stayed for a week. And it was a lot of fun. Um, we stayed busy pretty much the entire time. Um, my husband's mom taught us how to knit. So my husband's been knitting. He, he's already knitted a scarf and he's working on another one. This is pretty neat. Um, so he's going to start working on trying to learn how to make baby stuff. I think that's cool. Um, I've already been crocheting for since I was seven, so I make baby booties and hats and blankets, and I've been making scarves and stuff, but we had a great time in California, um, with the exception of yesterday when we came back, and it was just really miserable. Um, I, I threw up on both plane rides. We had a layover in Denver. So the first plane ride on the way down, descending, I threw up. And thank God for the little bags. Um, and then I felt nauseous. We had 30 minutes to catch the other flight. And I had peppermint, Sprite, everything. And I was trying to eat, which was making actually making it worse. And um, I didn't have much. I only had like three and a half hours of sleep back before. And then I still have nauseousness occasionally with my pregnancy. So all that thrown in together just didn't jive well together. So I again threw up in the second flight on the way down. And it's just really embarrassing when you have people around you watching you and hearing you puke. Anyway, then we, um, when we got to the airport, um, we were waiting for our luggage and my husband got his luggage. And my luggage, we couldn't find. We were, like, waiting there for, like, 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. And it was just, like, the same luggage going around and around. I was like, oh, my gosh, where's my bag? And finally, this guy at the end, he had, like, several, um, like, I have a black suitcase. We both do. And I know it's, like, a really common color suitcase for people to have. But uh, he had, like, six of them. But he had a big family. And finally, I saw him put one back on the belt. And it was mine. So it had been over there for a while. And thank God that he realized it before he left. Um, then we parked our car um, at the airport for the nine days that we were gone. And we put money in the car for parking. Because we took out like $500 for um, our trip. And... When, and we like put 160 in our car for parking because of what, what we thought it was going to be. And then that way we didn't spend the money. And it was stolen. Our car was locked. Um, yeah, somebody broke into our car. And stole our money and our GPS. And our GPS was inside of a uh, glove, our glove box. So it wasn't like it was sitting out, you know, advertising it for the world to see that we have a GPS in our car. And apparently that happens a lot in this airport. And um, the cop, you know, he read up a report for it, but it's not like we're going to see any of that money or our GPS ever again. So I guess that happens. Anyway, I hope they needed it more than me. Um, oh, and then it took us like two and a half hours to get home from the airport when it should have only taken like an hour. And we were just both exhausted and grumpy, and I'm just glad yesterday is over. So... Okay, pregnancy. Um, I guess I'll start with my symptoms. Because this is pregnancy week 13. Today I'm like 14 weeks and 2 days according to that ultrasound I had. My last ultrasound. So, that's the doctor hasn't changed it yet. That was just according to what the ultrasound tech had measured the baby yet. And I go to the doctor on Tuesday for my next regular checkup. <laughs> But anyway, at 13 weeks, the baby is like three inches long. I think that's really cool to think of it being three inches. That's that's pretty good size. Um, as far as symptoms, 
I'm still, I have had a little bit more energy. Um, today I have had a lot of energy, but it's probably because I slept for like 12 hours. Um, I haven't had, since I've been my 14th week, you're supposed to start having, well, your fourth month, you're supposed to have having um, decreased urination. Mm -mm. I still pee a lot, very often. And I don't pee, oh, I don't pee a lot, I pee often. But like I said before, that thing that has to do with the bladder problem I have, so. Um, my nauseousness has definitely decreased. Um, yesterday, throwing up was, I think, a lot to do with just the motion sickness and not sleeping a lot the night before we went, or traveled. Um, constipation, I've definitely had that. It started up. I... It's not so much that I have constipation where I can't go, like, at all, but it's just not satisfying, <laughs> I guess. Um, I have a lot of, like, indigestion, I burp a lot, that kind of thing. Um, like, my breasts definitely, the deep, <clears throat> I have decreased uh, breast tenderness. It's not like it was before. Um, the only thing I've noticed are, like, my nipples every once in a while start to get, like, sore. Kind of like there's some pins sticking in them or needles, jabbing them, something. I don't have it. I've been really lucky and haven't had any headaches. I'm so thankful for that because I was just so tired of having headaches. Um, I haven't really had any in this pregnancy, but I was really worried. Uh, the medicine I was taking was keeping me from having migraines. And um, when I went off of the medication because I was pregnant. I was so afraid that I would start getting them again, but I haven't had them that bad. Thanksgiving was the last time I had them. For like, the worst migraine I had since I've been pregnant was Thanksgiving week. And it was like three or four days long migraine. I have been feeling like faint or dizzy when I stand up sometimes. Not all the time, just occasionally. A new thing, aside from bloody sinuses, um, is nasal, nasal decongestion, or congestion, sorry, I'm like half asleep, it's almost 10 o'clock, I'm a little late in this video, I'm <laughs> up, or made, um, sensitive gums, over the last week, maybe, uh, it has to be last week, I've been having, uh, when I brush my teeth, my gums bleed, and I don't brush them any different than I ever have before. Or like when I floss my teeth, I notice there's blood on it. And so I'm not, like I said, I've not done anything different. It's just been more sensitive, I guess. Increased appetite. Yep. I'd say I've had an increased appetite. Let's see here. And increase in vaginal discharge. I've had that. That's probably gross, but yeah, I have. Um, let's see here. The only other thing I've been having is, like, pain, um, on my left side of my belly, um, or my, you know, uterus and stuff, down around my groin. I have, like, a dull, achy feeling every once in a while, and I had that at the beginning of my pregnancy, and I've started having it again the past few weeks. Um, we've read about it, because it really freaked us out <clears throat> when, um, I first started having that pain. Because it almost seems like it's cramping, but it's not. It's like a, just an achy feeling. And then we read that that's um, like ligament stretching, I guess. Or just your uterus stretching. And on the left side, the, or the right side, rather, I've been having, when I stand up real fast or get out of bed real fast, um, or even just turn while I'm in bed, like just a sharp pain in my uterus. So I've been having that quite often. I'm assuming that that's stretching because that's what I've read. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much all for week 13 and part of week 14 because it kind of all goes together, I guess. Everything I've said. Um, I was going to show you guys the baby that we lost in July. We have a place called Art by You. And they have, um, like these little ceramic things and you just pick them out and they have a uh, paint and you just paint them the paints included and they uh, fire it and um, so I picked up I did an ornament 
and I put just Angel Baby 2010. <clears throat> and I thought that was a good way to um, remember every year at my husband and I get an ornament, so I thought that that would be a good one to have this year. Oh, let's see here. There are a couple things I did get. Um, my husband's mom, they do like <clears throat> antique collecting and um, they have a antique booth. Um, they just go to estate sales and stuff and they get a lot of stuff that's worth stuff and worth money and they sell it and make money. But we went to their antique booth and they gave us a couple of things. And this, she went there and I want to do like a vintage baby theme for the nursery. Even, uh, boy or girl, doesn't matter. And the, I like antiques. And this is one that she gave us a picture. Let's see. I'm going to pay for this. Here, yeah. And this could be like boy or girl, I think. Because it kind of looks like a boy. I mean, you could, probably can't tell. But, um... I mean, I, I already realize it's wearing a dress, but a long time ago, boys wore dresses, so. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll just have to get a frame for it. A nice little frame. And, since I'm get do have more energy, like, you know, I've gained weight. Not more than I'm supposed to at this point. But, um, I do need to get, be more healthy. And, I've read that doing yoga and, you know, working out and walking on a slow pace on a treadmill gets you ready, your body ready for like labor and so you're not exhausted when you go through labor. So I got this yoga book, Yoga for Pregnancy, Birth and Beyond. And it's just really neat to have, um, let's see here, Yoga Foundation. I've been, I've done yoga a lot in my, in my lifetime. <laughs> and this is really neat because it has like week four, week one to 16 for your pregnancy. And then it has like all the poses for that section. And then there's, I think it's week 16 through 34. And, um, you know, they have several of that. And then at the end here, it's really cute. Um, they have the moms doing yoga with the babies laying on them after they've had the baby. That's so sweet. I thought this was the cutest thing. You see the little baby lay on the mom and she's doing yoga. It's so cute. So I got this book. I'm going to start, you know, just spending maybe 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes walking on the treadmill. I know that's not a lot, but that's more than I'm doing now. And I don't want to overdo it. Just because I haven't been working out a lot, um, or any for that matter. And doing uh, just a few yoga poses every day. And, and build myself up, you know. To walk in 20 minutes a day and do more yoga poses. I just don't want to overdo it. Um, I guess that's about it. And I'm going to do a belly shot. Um, I'm not really... I feel fat. So, excuse me, but... Okay. Let's see here. I'll do a side of you first. But, this is... week, I guess 14 and two days I am today. And then in the front, you can like see this like line and it goes up right here. And that's about it. I haven't been taking any measurements or anything. So I don't know like how, um, what my size is or anything like that. So, yep, that's about it. And sorry it's so long, but I'll talk to you girls next week. Bye.